jeopardy. Fans have ripped contestants after several were stumped by an easy question in the final round. During Thursday's episode, returning champ Dan Wool competed against Mira Hayward and Scott Perry. The competition was stiff throughout much of the show, with history teacher Dan and Seattle native Mira jockeying for the top spot through much of the night. All three competitors racked up earnings, but by final jeopardy, it was clear that either Dan or Mira would walk away victorious. In the final round, the contestants were asked, in 1904, wearing a harness, actress Nina Bausakot became the first to play this character on stage. Fans at home seemed to think the question was a gimme, while the contestants struggled. Scott wagered a massive bet as he guessed, who is Mother Courage? The wrong answer cost him almost all of his earnings for the night, leaving him with just $2. Mira, who went into final jeopardy in second place, guessed, who is Peter Pan? She wagered $4,000, bringing her total for the night to a whopping $14,600. Dan, meanwhile, wrote in, who is Pygmalion? He bet $9,101, leaving him with just $2,999 and dethroning him as a returning jeopardy. Champ, fans flocked to social media to weigh in on the show's ending, with many surprised. One wrote, this was so easy. I'm surprised only one got it right. Another mocked, what? That last question was a no-brainer. Someone else chimed in, super easy final Jeopardy. Subtle boost. This isn't the first time fans have had something to say about the questions on Jeopardy. Recently, host Ken Jennings was accused of making a comment to previous reigning champ Matthew Marcus that helped him secure another win. Before Matthew could respond to a clue about a character by Oscar Wilde, Ken said, he's your favorite writer. The returning champ faced Greg Snyder, a call center manager from Las Vegas, Nevada, and Carolyn Shivers, an associate professor from Grand Island, New York. Matthew, a software developer living in Portland, Oregon, has at jeopardy. Fans buzzing as he keeps winning and he now has enough wins to qualify for the 2023 Tournament of Champions. However, before his fourth victory on February 7, crossing the $100 K mark with $114.20 K total, Ken, 48, made a comment to him mid-clue that fans did not take lightly. The last remaining clue of the episode for $400 was under literary title characters and selected by Carolyn. Ken Reed, Lord Henry tells him to get back to my youth I'd do anything, except take exercise, get up early, or be respectable, Wilder. Matthew, who earlier in his run revealed he's a big fan of Oscar Wilde, was then the one to buzz in to guess the literary character.